My GOP family and friends, hope and pray that you are in good condition, spirit, soul, and body. This morning, as part of our Tinapen and Buhay episode, Matthew 4, 4 says that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Please join me in prayer. Father God, we are so grateful and privileged even at this point in time of enhanced community quarantine. You are faithful and protective to your sons and daughters by providing the need and protection from coronavirus. Let your word strengthen us again as we continue to trust and obey you. For we all ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This morning, I would like to share with you Romans 8, 28. This is the most memorized and quoted verses in the New Testament. It says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. This scripture brings comfort, direction, and hope to Christians every day. Ang malungkot lang, it's also one of the most misquoted and misunderstood verses in the Bible. Meron lang akong napansin sa verse na ito. Una, Romans 8.28 doesn't mean we can live any way we choose and God will fix our messes. To understand the truth of Romans 8.28, we can't just quote the part of the verse we like, which says, if we know that in all things God works for the good, at di na babasayan ang kabuuan that says, of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8.28 is a promise for believers. Yes, real believers, those who are living for Christ, not those who claim to believe in God but are living like hell. This verse says, to those who love God and are doing their best to obey his commands even though bad sad evil wicked things will touch your life i god will use them to ultimately bring about good both in your life and in the world let's look at this video i don't work as big anymore this is probably my last big thing that i'll do I'll probably work very small now, just doing five by seven, just small mm -hmm. vignettes. Inspiration is just the landscapes. I love, uh, I miss the east. I'm from Maryland, so you know, I miss snow. I miss, so I do a lot of um, winter scenes. I really do. I love to sing. I love my artwork. And all these things are modes of expression. I mean, God has given us all gifts and talents, and we're to use them, we're to exercise them. But I think especially art and music are ways to, mm, express it's an overflow it's a my cup runneth over when i sing it's a it's an overflow uh, as is my artwork um, an expression of of things that are uniquely me very personal something nobody else can do my goodness i paint with my mouth hello <laughs> i mean even my dentist thinks that's quite a remarkable but to do something that's so private and personal and put it out there not only for the encouragement of others, but for God's glory. Um, that gives me such a sense of satisfaction. Johnny er Erickson Tada, an inspirational speaker, author, and singer, is a quadriplegic who has been confined to a wheelchair for more than 40 years. When people ask her why God allows suffering, she often says, God allows what he hates to accomplish what he loves. 
And what does God love? For people to enter into relationship with Himself and become more like Him. John's life and ministry are a stunning testimony of how God can use a tragedy like a paralyzing dry diving accident to impact the lives of millions. Uh, second, Romans 8.28 tells us, God can use all things together for good. He doesn't say all things are good. Kaano man tayo ka cheerful and optimistic, there's nothing good about cancer, sex trafficking, or death until Jesus returns and conquers Satan once and for all. Sin will continue to spread across our world, damaging and destroying everything in its way. The truth of Romans 8.28 reminds us that although sin and Satan are powerful, God is more powerful. He is able to redeem and restore anything for our good and His glory. All things may not be good, but God can and will use all things for our good. And finally, uh, you may never have noticed about Romans 8.28 and its accompanying verse. Ito yung malagay susunod, Romans 8.29 is the ultimate good God wants to accomplish in the lives of His children. It says, For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. A wise Bible teacher once told me, God allows everything into our lives for one or two purposes, either to bring us into a relationship with himself, or if we already know him, uh, to make us more like His Son. As long as we live in this world, people will attempt to reconcile God's sovereignty with humanity's suffering. Verses like Romans 8.28 assures us that no suffering is wasted and God is always at work for our good and His glory. We cannot comprehend why trials come and struggle to imagine that anything good can come from them. We can rest in the security that God is in control. Because of this, we can have hope. Please join me in prayer. Father, sometimes we can understand how you can bring beauty from the ashes of our life. We struggle to trust you with the broken pieces. To say in your word that without faith it is impossible to please you. And if we want to please you, we want to trust you, we will want you to make us more like Jesus and use our trials for our good and your glory. Help us believe the promise of Romans 8.28 in the strong name of Jesus, we ask all these things. Amen.